Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know you've seen the title, so I know what you're here for. It is Araya V, and today we're going to do a home maintenance vlog. So, I've been doing my own maintenance, I want to say, for like a couple years now. Um, I haven't got my hair done in years. I got it done once, like two years ago, and that was to get the color. And since then I've changed it and I usually do my own eyebrows since like high school. I do my own nails. So I think I'm an expert at this point, you know, just saying. So today we're going to get into some maintenance at home. Um, I'm really excited because I picked up some new products just to try. Um, and I really want this to be an affordable maintenance vlog. I know a lot of us feel pressured especially on tiktok and social media to get online and show the things that we have and because it's not aesthetic we don't want to do it babe i'm here to tell you that you could do it you could still be a baddie you could still be flawless and it doesn't it really does not take a lot so today we're gonna do a maintenance vlog i'm super excited um i'm back on youtube so yeah let's get into the video so first things first i take off all my jewelry because we want to start clean and fresh then i'm going over to the bathroom because guess what we got to get rid of all this hair that we don't want to be seen okay so i use the magic shave it's something that i get from the beauty supply store it's really for men's beards and i just find that it works well to remove hair and it works fast it does have a strong odor though so just be aware of that um, I felt like it was safe enough to put on my face, so I use it to get off my stash, if you know what I'm saying. So, yeah. Hey, Google, play Doja Cat. All right, say so by Doja Cat. Here it is on Spotify. <laughs> Next, while I'm in the shower, I'm grabbing my honey pot for all the sensitive places, my dove for my sensitive skin. If you have dry skin, this works very well for you. It's just very hydrating. I know the girlies are very much into the cotton gloves, the exfoliating gloves. Uh, it has been working wonders for me. I got mine at TJ Maxx, but I'll definitely put some in my storefront. It works so well. It gets every inch of your skin and your body that you want to get to and i think that's what i like about the gloves i also have these african wash rags they work well for the places that i can't get like my back i just feel so clean after using these two um items to exfoliate my skin now this detangler uh worked well in my hair it's the first time i used it i really liked it i'll put it in my storefront for you guys as well if i can find it it definitely detangled my hair very well it's by the brand african pride i have really dry hair along with dry skin so this did wonders for my hair the girls on tiktok told me about the miracle moist from Aussie and I can say that it really did something for my hair I liked it I'm gonna keep using it and see what happens now this EOS dry skin cream is just for me to shave my legs because I don't put the remover on my legs and this Olay wash is basically like lotion in the shower I got put onto it a couple years ago by Aaliyah's face and I absolutely love it I've been getting it ever since it's definitely a pinnacle so to do my brows I use this combination of a razor that I get usually from like TJ Maxx or Marshalls in a three pack my spoolie and my scissors that I got from the beauty supply store this is a top tier combination to do your brows to get them groomed at home Next, I'm probably going to use my um, CeraVe face moisturizer. Um, it's like a face wash. It just works well with my skin. Usually on days like this, I'll put on some like hyaluronic acid and call it a day. Um, and then I'm going to use my Vanna cream. And that's what I use for my legs. All these stuff is dry skin friendly because I have extremely dry skin, guys. Okay, so if you have dry skin, these products are going to work wonders for you, okay? So 
So I'm using the Curl Milk and Detangler by African Pride in my hair again because you can actually leave the product in your hair. And I really, really like that because I currently don't have a leave-in conditioner. Um, and as you can see, it left my hair super soft. So I believe you can find it at your local beauty supply store. If not, I'll try to find it on Amazon. So I'm actually adding some jojoba oil and I did find a Mio oil in my neighborhood. If you want to know where I found it at, you got to look at my vlogs. Um, but yeah, I put a couple drops of each in my hair and my scalp just to, you know, add some thickness over time and just, you know, to keep oil in my hair because I have dry hair. I'm using the Silk Blowout by OGX. I used to use the Kenra and I really liked it. I may go back to it, but it left my hair a little bit dry. And for somebody with dry hair, that's not ideal. Um, I'm using my round brush and going in with my blow dryer um, just to get that perfect blowout. Um, I actually need a new round brush because as you guys can see, my round brush is like peeling at this point. But it works so freaking good okay so this is my hair all blown out um it looks pretty good um it doesn't look too dry it still has a little bit of shine to it which i really like um and yeah look at all that i look like a lion <laughs> like what so now I'm using the Thermal Shield Heat Protector from Cantu Shea Butter. Um, I did used to use the, um, Lord, I can't even think about it. Oh my God, guys, I don't remember. Anyway, I used the, oh, the Hot Toddy. And I liked it, um, but I wanted to try something else also. Um, and now I'm just going in and blow drying my clippings. These clippings I got from... Amazon, they're by the brand Goo Goo. Um, and I'm also just straightening my hair. Um, just you know, because that's the whole point maintenance vlog. Um, I really wanted to add those clip ins and make them look really cute. So now that my hair is all straight, I'm gonna part it. Now, y'all, I have not found a key to parting straight, but I did see this girl on TikTok mirror her phone to her TV. So she can see what she's doing behind her head. I'm going to try it and I'm going to let you guys know how it works. Um, but yeah, so I'm just like freehand just parting and, you know, just kind of figuring out my placement. Using my hot comb just to get those edges. Um, and, you know, just to get all the bumps under by my roots. So yeah. If you guys want to see how I colored those clippings, I can probably do that in another video. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just curling my clippings and really just adding some clips um, just to hold them in place because I want those that blow out curl look. I just think it's so pretty um, and it's definitely my vibe. Like it's giving like I woke up like this effortless. Okay, but isn't she cute? Like, it's giving moisturized. It's giving, I'm in my best era. So next is on to the nails. I do do my nails at home. Fun fact, I used to do my own acrylics, but it's just way too much work now. So I just do press-ons, but right here I'm kind of just drilling um, and just getting that shine off my nail. And then I go in with a straight nail clipper just to make my nails even under my press-ons that's important guys if you're doing press-ons um i personally like to just keep it even next i'm just gonna wipe off with some make um not makeup remover nail polish remover um just to dehydrate the nails a little bit just so the glue adheres the way i want to I have these press-ons on my Amazon storefront. These are like the thickest press-ons I've found. They truly mimic a 
acrylic nail. This nail glue I got at a nail supply store in Brooklyn. Um, if you guys want to know some nail supply stores that you don't need a license for, let me know. I'll definitely link them down below or at least leave the address for the supply stores. Now that I have all my nails on, I'm going to go ahead and just trim them to the desired length I want. And I'm just going to add some nail polish. Um, this is a top coat. I love the Beatles brand from Amazon. Um, they're just really good. I do get some nail polishes from the supply store when I want a specific color. Um, and then I got this spongy thing from Amazon that's supposed to like mimic, uh, what is it? A, um, wow, I can't think, <laughs> uh, French and the color that I chose, I thought it was going to hit, but it actually looks really bad. So I just went with a simple white French tip. And that's just how I do my nails. And I just have my gel light. And it's like literally the easiest, guys. Especially if you have to like run somewhere or go to an event. It's very, very accessible. I love it. And very budget friendly, I must say. Honestly, I feel so refreshed. I feel so beautiful. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this budget friendly video. Let me know if you want more like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.